Here I'll show you how to make a bar envelope out of a single piece of office paper. That's 8.5 by 11 or A4 paper. First we're going to fold this in half hamburger style. Now we're going to take the open edge of the top sheet of paper and fold it back on itself so it reaches the closed edge. And here we'll basically do the same thing. Take the open edge, fold it back on itself so it reaches the closed edge. Now give that one a good crease and then open it up. And now we'll take this open edge and fold into that middle crease that we just made. Once you've got that piece folded, fold it back up along the original middle crease that we used as a guideline. And this becomes the bar of our bar envelope. Now we'll take this open edge here and fold it down so it just meets the bottom of that bar that we made. Give that a good crease and then open it up. Now in this closed corner here, we're going to take that edge and fold it up so it meets the bottom of the bar. Give that a good crease and then do the same on the other side. Now we're going to use the edges of those corners we just folded as guidelines for taking the side of the envelope and folding it in on itself. This starts to get a little tricky because there's already so many folds in the paper and it gets to be really thick. But do your best to line everything up as well as you can. When you're done giving that a good crease, go ahead and open it back up and then do the same on the other side. Okay, now we're going to use these creases as guidelines for our next fold. We're going to need to fold a diagonal here so that it goes from this corner to this corner. Line it up as best you can and then just crease that one diagonal area. We're going to use that as a guideline for later. Now do the same on the other side. Okay, that does it for our guidelines, and now we're actually going to start folding this thing. Okay, unfold these corners in the bottom, and take that bar and fold it up. Now we're going to take just the top edge of this side here, and fold it in towards the middle. As you do that, you'll need to make sure you open up the bottom part here into this triangle shape, and then flatten it down. Check to make sure that everything lines up as best it can, and then give it a good crease to hold it in place. You'll of course need to repeat the whole process on the other side. Once we have both sides folded, we're going to take this top part and fold it down so that we see our bar again. Now tuck your finger into that little triangle here and pull down and in towards the middle. We'll pull that edge of the paper over and on top. Now give it a good crease. Now we'll take this corner here and pull up slightly and then tuck it back into that pocket. This is going to add stability and hold for our envelope. Now of course do everything again on the other side. Okay, and now we're going to use that weird diagonal crease that we made earlier. Gently open up the pocket of the envelope and use your finger to tuck that slant in. This horizontal crease right here in the foreground should line up exactly with the horizontal crease in the background. When you've got that alignment, squash everything flat and give it a good crease. And then, of course, do the same thing on the other side. Okay, give that a good crease and we're almost done. As you've probably guessed by now, this top part is going to be the lid of our envelope. You can fold that down and give it a crease. 
And to seal the envelope, just take that edge and fold it right into the bar. And there you go. Signed, sealed, delivered, it's yours.